This Michigan Minority Business Hall of Fame tribute is sponsored by Forcia. Andre Rush is energetic, hard charging, and community minded. I knew I wanted to help people and make a difference, and I had to have my own business in order to do so. My grandmother grew up on a Native American reservation. She had 52 grandchildren and great-grandchildren, but uh, I must brag, I, I think I was her favorite. So she used to tell me these stories when I was young and impressionable because I am Mohawk Indian and most people don't have Mohawk Indian blood. I'll be quicker, faster, and win the races or anything I do. I started uh, 33 years ago with three trucks, my credit cards, and 5,000 borrow from my parents. And I thought that, geez, I heard they have these contracts for Native American females and, and uh, set-asides. Then Dakota Integrated Systems was started 16 years ago and that was to get exposure in assembling interiors for uh, initially General Motors, the Cadillac. 2011, Dakota got a call from Burt Jordan that asked if we would like to create opportunity in the city of Detroit. It was a rare opportunity that was created in terms of really trying to transition minority suppliers from assemblers to really true manufacturers. And I was so blessed to have everyone work with us to create win, 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 UAW, Ford Motor Company, Forcia, and just many of my great colleagues that I've worked with all pitched in to make sure we were successful. Two years ago, as the auto industry came roaring back, Andra Rush opened up a manufacturing firm in Detroit. She knew that Ford needed parts, and she knew how to make those parts. To see her at President Obama's State of the Union in 2014 was incredible. And we started with uh, primarily people who had been underemployed or unemployed for quite some time. So we went from 65 people to about 1,100. It was amazing. Thank you very much. It's truly an honor to receive this award. And I could not do the things I'm able to do in the community and with others without the dedication, hard work, and commitment from great employees, of which I'm lucky to have. I've had so many leaders. The late Ron Hall was phenomenal. When Ron came in, he invited Harold Kuttner. Having a C-suite leadership from Tom Sidlick to Carlos Mazarin, just having these leaders in those positions gave a, a point of view of the impact you can have in communities and in people's lives by being intentional. You think about someone who created a $2 billion business from $5,000 or $8,000, however you do the math, and the job she's created in the community, and what she's done in terms of supporting our businesses, the people she's trained, she takes it to heart. It's just who she is.